in good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on in good shape. And with me in the studio today is Professor Ulrich Wahn. He is an expert on asthma and allergies, and I'm very delighted to have him in our studio today. Welcome, Hello. Professor Wahn, to In Good Shape. What actually happening in our body when we have an asthma attack? Well, the crucial phenomenon is inflammation of the airways. And there are three factors which need to be understood in order to find the right treatment for patients. One is the swelling of the mucous membrane. The second is the spasm of the muscles around the airways. And the third is the mucus, which is produced into the airways. And that's why the asthmatic patient has the feeling of breathlessness. He feels or she feels like breathing through a straw. Yeah. And this is the main symptom or how can you distinguish between having asthma or just a nasty cough? Well, cough is very common and most of the coughers don't have asthma. The additional bronchial obstruction, the narrowing of the airways is the element which is very important and essential for asthma. And the first signs of asthma? When, when do you actually need to see a doctor to get yourself diagnosed? So patients report that uh, after a common, a trivial airway infection, a runny nose, they experienced breathlessness. Others may tell you that in a certain season of the year, when pollen are around, they have this phenomenon, and particularly teenagers may report that they experience breathlessness with exercise, with exercise at school or in a sports club. And, and how do asthma sufferers find out which kind of, what kind of irritants are causing their asthma? Do, do they have to expose them to, say, cats or something well, like that? Well, they have their own experience, which is very important. And the doctors may have to find out with specific tests how relevant these observations are. You may have to do lung function tests. You may have to do allergy tests. Some uh, patients need treadmill tests to find out whether exercise uh, is very relevant. This all needs to be done before you uh, decide on a treatment. Mm -hmm. And one form of treatment are medications, usually inhalers. But what's also important? Are there ways uh, next to medication you can treat it? Well, the inhalers are very important. And it was mentioned already that we do have the relievers and the controllers. Both are equally important. Uh, however, in a specific case of an asthmatic patient, you may have to give advice for avoidance of allergens, domestic or outdoor allergens. You may uh, consider immunotherapy with certain allergens, which help the patient to become tolerant to its environment. Uh, or you may even uh, consider uh, modern, uh, very sophisticated drugs like anti-IgE, which is one of the biologicals, which has become recently available for asthmatic patients. And many of my patients have qualms about taking medications that contain cortisone. Is it dangerous? Well, it used to be at least very uncomfortable because side effects were obvious not only to patients but also to doctors. In the past, when all these drugs, these cortisone drugs, uh, had to be taken systemically, you had to swallow tablets, uh, you saw these side effects. Now, after uh, you... Uh, can deliver these molecules by inhalation. You treat the, the airways without accepting systemic unwanted side effects. And this is a clear progress. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think about the Buteco method? Is it recommended for asthmatics? Well, it, it appears to me that this is one facet of what we call relaxation techniques. And this is not just an add-on to our regular treatment, it's essential. Uh, the doctor has to serve as a coach to enable the patient who has to live with this disease to, for a certain degree of self-management. And part of self-management is to find out how do I relax, how do I manage not to panic when the asthma attack comes up. And this this technique is absolutely essential. So the, the patient will be his own doctor then after that? Uh, kind of, yes. 
Another technique for children is that uh, they should learn a brass instrument because it enables them to breathe properly. What do you think about that? I don't think this is an element for treatment. If children uh, can still stick to the musical instrument which they like, I'm happy. I don't believe that it adds a lot to treatment, but uh, we should enable these children to uh, to stick to their hobbies and to stick to their trumpet and flute and, and trombone if they like. And this is possible today. And just go for it. And yeah. what about doing sports and exercise, heavy exercise, for instance? Very Can, important yeah. issue. Is it important and therapy? It's always brought up, particularly by the teenagers, when they are afraid they cannot uh, do any active sport anymore. Uh, this is wrong. Uh, and our answer in general is, yes, find out where your limit is. Our anti-asthmatic treatment will help you to perform exercise, continue to do this, and go particularly in the water. This is one of the sport uh, activities which are particularly helpful for asthmatic patients. And, and what about yoga? Say, yoga being a sport, and uh, Selva Reik asks, could doing yoga regularly cure? Well, people are different. Some prefer to have yoga, some have other techniques. I would say, uh, let's be more general and say, we offer uh, to all the asthmatic patient relaxation techniques which they find are suitable for their lifestyle to keep their quality of life up. In some cases, even yoga may be helpful. And our Facebook user Lafayette Ham from New Zealand asks, are there any activities which can be of benefit for asthmatics? Well, there are, yes, and I mentioned sports. And if somebody is unable to do skiing or long distance running, I would always recommend uh, do long term exercise in the water. Uh, swimming is part of treatment. Our friend Abdullah Nur Takar asks on Facebook if asthma is genetic. Yes, there is a strong genetic component, this is quite clear, and the research of the last two decades has, has clarified this definitely. However, there are also lifestyle and environmental factors which contribute significantly to the manifestation of asthmatics. Let's just mention smoking. I mean, uh, active smoking as well as passive tobacco smoke is clearly to be avoided uh, as one of the top risk factors for uh, children who are susceptible for asthma. Professor Wan, thanks so much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you. Thanks a lot.